Paul Ryan joins GOP retreat, abandons run in 2018. House Speaker Paul Ryan, the self-professed deficit hawk who oversaw a nearly fourfold increase in the national debt over his 20 years in Congress, will not be running for re-election in November, a spokesperson confirmed Wednesday morning. Ryan had been contemplating retirement since the end of Donald Trump's first year in office, having grown frustrated managing the president's moods, ignoring his tweets, and corralling belligerent factions of the GOP Politico reported last December that he had privately compared his job to running a daycare center, with rising odds of a blue tidal wave in the midterms, a June re-election filing date looming, and the prospect of losing his title if Democrats retake the House. Ryan apparently decided to pull the plug. You realize something when you take this job, it's a big job with a lot riding on you, Ryan told reporters later Wednesday, reiterating, as he often does, that he had taken the job reluctantly in 2015. I'd like to think I've done my part, my little part in history to set us on a better course, he added, insisting that he has no regrets. Friends of Ryan say the Wisconsin congressman was satisfied with finally having passed comprehensive tax reform, though the final product was more than a trillion dollars short of being revenue neutral, that he is ready to join the private sector, and that he is eager to spend more time with his family. Ryan has lamented before that he only sees his children on weekends. His increasing clashes with the White House were also part of the equation, the two butted heads over tariffs which Ryan adamantly opposed, and DACA, a Koch brothers priority that Ryan had hoped to codify as part of a broader immigration package. Instead, the president is ramping up what could become a trade war with China and has apparently given up on protecting the dreamers from deportation. The stock market, the ultimate barometer of Ryan's standing with his globalist-minded donors, has been trading sideways since January. Given the ongoing political uncertainty over the Federal Reserve, China, Syria, North Korea, the Robert Mueller investigation, and even Stormy Daniels. https colon slash slash twitter dot com slash real Donald Trump slash status slash nine eight four oh six six one three one three oh three five eight three seven four six Ryan's exit will be seen as another sell signal for GOP odds makers as the midterms loom. Already, three Senate Republicans and 23 House Republicans, now 24, have announced they will not be running for re-election in November. Another six House Republicans have already resigned in scandal or announced early resignations for other reasons. Including lawmakers who are leaving or have left to pursue other offices, there will be 19 House seats left open by Democrats and 39 vacated by Republicans. The Cook Political Report lists 50 Republican seats as competitive, compared to just five for Democrats. With a 23-seat swing, it will be Nancy Pelosi holding Ryan's gavel. And with Ryan leaving, the exodus may accelerate. The New York Times reported that the resignation news caught Ryan's caucus by surprise, with many believing he wouldn't tip his hand until after the midterms. While Ryan had no strong primary challenger in his Wisconsin district, his only real competition was Paul Nalen, an avowed white nationalist and anti-Semite prone to fighting with other white nationalists online. He was facing a stiff challenge from his Democratic opponent. Randy Bryce, an aggressively mustachioed steel worker known for his popular Twitter feed, raised $2.1 million in the last quarter, a haul, Bryce bragged that beat Ryan by $1.75 million. Bryce's internal polling had put him just six points behind Ryan with several months to go. Ryan, meanwhile, appeared to be losing ground in his district, with The Times reported that his constituents were growing disappointed in his absenteeism and frequent kowtowing to Trump. He always had a good head on his shoulders, a good set of values, said Stephen Johnson a high school administrator who has known Ryan since he was a teenager. I supported him for all this time, but I won't now, especially since he won't stand up to Trump. That's a big surprise to me. The shadow campaign to replace Ryan as Speaker, which was already simmering beneath the surface, is now likely to break out into public view. For months, 
Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy from California and Majority Whip Steve Scalise of Louisiana have been courting support from congressional allies. McCarthy's renewed run is somewhat curious, considering that he abruptly dropped out of the race to replace John Boner in 2015, a race he was said to win handily, citing his desire to avoid a bruising floor fight between moderates and hardliners in the Freedom Caucus. The more pressing issue may have been rumors of an affair. Hardly a scandal in the post-stormy era, Scalise, meanwhile, has a large goodwill advantage among Republicans and Democrats after surviving a mass shooting and recovering from a near-fatal gunshot injury, though he also is not without controversy, having spoken at a white nationalist rally in 2002. But given the president's ability to survive even worse scandals, that might not count for much, either. Follow to get the latest news and analysis about the players in your inbox.